Hello, Hiya. it's us two again. Uh, if you're keen to keep up on the latest on the build of our narrowboat, Silver Fox, click the subscribe button just down there and also the notifications icon and we'll let you know whenever we release a new vlog. We're going to give you some details and update on how she's going in a little while. Uh, today we're just by the River Don in Sprotborough, that's the weir over there. That's me. Round Sean. <laughs> About 500 yards that way is Sprotborough Lock. And we've also got the uh, visitor moorings just behind those trees. Really nice, isn't there. it? It is a nice place. I wanted to film from the lock, but it's closed. The towpath's closed. They're closed the, it off doing repairs, aren't they? Yeah, they're building a new bridge, like a walkway for the towpath, so we can't get down there. So, Silver Fox is, uh, well, <laughs> she's growing. She's now got sides and a roof, and all the little bits and pieces seem to be taking shape. So, today's vlog is all about how Silver Fox is developing uh, in about a week. So she's going to be going from Aintree Boats across to Bickerstaff for the fit out. But today we just wanted to show you how she's getting on. Yay. So as you can see, all the final touches have been made to the steel work. She's getting a ballast and a spray foam insulation and the battens fitted in the next couple of days. 57 foot long. And as you can see, we've chosen a cruiser stern, which is just about completed. Uh, you can see the handrail and the stern lockers are all in place. Now we're going to be using the stern lockers as gas lockers because the boats are reverse layout. So that means the galley is going to be at the back of the boat, closest to these gas lockers. Uh, here you can see one of the dollies for attaching the ropes and the bottom of the tiller and the handrail. Now we're going to be having some seats fitted here during the fit out. You can also see inside the engine bay that's going to house a 42 horsepower Vetus M-Line engine and above that there's the control panel and we've got a secure covering plate over that just to uh, try and put off any vandals or secure any damage to the controls. There's also going to be a pram cover on the stern that's going to be fitted in sections. It's a pet friendly one and it means that we can either have just the upper half on or just the lower or, or both at the same time. It's going to be handy on like the drier days so that Dylan can wander around the boat without us worrying about him wandering off. Uh, and then in the summer we can just kind of put the top part on if it's raining and we want to cruise. So walking down the port side of the boat you can see the ventilation grid for the engine and the markings for the first of the two side hatches we have in, one on each opposite side of the boat and they're going to be right in the middle of the Pullman dinette which is exactly what I wanted for working. Uh, we've got the saloon window, the bathroom and bedroom portals. Now the windows are going to be a little bit different, they're a bit special. We're having 36 by 21 inch panoramic windows and 18 inch portholes for the bathroom and bedroom. But we're having, it's a new type of glass moulding and it's privacy glass. We actually saw these on a different boat. Now at the bow there's the T-stud for the ropes and one of the six anodes you can just see at the bottom there. Under the bow we've got a bow thruster locker. Uh, there's going to be a Vetus bow thruster in there with a Bosch battery uh, powering that. We've also got a separate locker which because the gas is going to be at the stern it means we've got some extra space to store, I don't know, wood, coal, any other bits and pieces we want to put in there. And then underneath that we've got a stainless steel water tank. On the roof uh, we've got the ladder rack and mushroom vents to fit in there. We've also got a TV aerial and a Wi-Fi antenna to be fitted. We're also having some flexible solar panels fitted, uh, which we've chosen. It's really based on, on recommendation. There's so many panels out there and we were really impressed by a set of, it's about four or five we're going to be having on there and they're really durable and the amount of power they produce to say that they sit flat on the roof was really, it was impressive. Uh, so I can't, again, can't wait to show you that once it's done. And that's where we're at at the moment. Next stage is fit out. It's not going to be long then until Silver Fox goes from Aintree across to Bickerstaff. Uh, we're going to be going and filming that, watching it loaded up onto the lorry and driven across Liverpool to Bickerstaff. That's going to be a nervous day, isn't it? Not as nervous as when they lift it off to put it in the canal. Uh, so uh, make sure you click subscribe. Just comment if you've got any questions. Just add them in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. And of course, click like for us. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Is that the camera there? Yeah, it is. Now we're going to see it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>
Where is blah blah blah? Blah blah blah. So, 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 so David. <laughs> so David, so, 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 so. And you uh, are blah up your own or something like that. Right, that's it. <laughs> well, we're at the side of the River Don. I don't like that. Three mistakes. Keeps getting it wrong. It's mopping his brow. Until I've got a fly on the front. Now it's there.